Charlie Chaney, board member of the magazine The New Dentist. Today we are in the Rothel Clinic of West Georgia, located in Temple, uh, Temple, Georgia. We will be seeing patients today and using the physics forceps for atraumatic extractions. The physics forceps comes in a set of four. We have our lower universal, upper anterior, upper right, and upper left. With the physics forceps, you have three components of the instrument. The beak, which engages um, the legal aspect of the tooth. The bumper, which is placed uh, as deep, as far down on the vestibule as possible. And your handles, which act as the lever um, using class one lever action. The difference between using uh, conventional forceps and the physics forceps is the handling of the, uh, of the handles. You're not grasping the handles, clamping down on the forceps. Instead, you're just engaging it and rotating your wrist. Um, the, the energy comes from the rotation of the wrist and not clamping down on the forceps. So, this next procedure will be extracting tooth number 31. My left hand, just to hold it in position because it is slipping, just due to rotation limited opening. And just wait. Just a little for me. Alright, are you able to raise your chin up for me? Like to the sky? Going to reposition. have the movement on there. <coughs> May I see the log? Yep, there it is. Single group. Yeah. As you can see, a lot of buckle decay there, all the way through. 